Hi, welcome to Ucanic. Today we're going to be talking about the autopilot settings for the Tesla Model 3. Uh, here we have the home screen. If you go to the bottom left to the car icon, you'll pull up the control menus. And then if you go to autopilot, uh, here's all the settings that you can adjust for the autopilot. Uh, the first one, cruise follow distance. Uh, this is how far it'll follow the car in front of you. Um, so one is the closest, and it goes all the way up to seven being being a very large distance. So um, I keep it on one. Uh, one's uh, kind of like two car lengths, so that's t that's kind of standard. Uh, anything more than that is is a little bit more, but um, you can adjust to what you're comfortable with. Um, this auto steer, uh, it's currently in beta. Um, I keep it on that'll kind of keep you in the lane uh, so the cameras on the side will will track the the lines and they'll keep you in the center of the lane um, it's a good feature to, to have um, and so you can turn that on uh, the speed limit warning um, this will will let you know um, what the speed is it'll display it on the side of the screen um, so I have display, you can also have chime where it'll make a noise every time the speed limit changes. Um, I, I just keep it on display because then you can always see it. Um, but those are the two options there. Uh, speed limit, uh, this is where you set it to relative or absolute. Um, so relative, it won't go over 5 miles per hour over the speed limit that you set. Uh, absolute this is where you set an actual speed that you don't want it to go over so so I, I keep it on speed uh, limit relative and five miles per hour over the speed limit that'll kind of keep it in a range uh, if you do absolute then you constantly will have to change it as you go from different speeds uh, if the speed limits 50 you'll have to have to adjust if it goes up to 60 you have to adjust again um, so uh, yeah, relative and five miles per hour is, is kind of the setting I keep that at. Um, forward collision warning, this will track the car in front of you and, um, and if they start to break uh, very rapidly, uh, this is how soon it will warn you. So you can turn it off, uh, late is, it'll, it'll give you it when you're very close to the car. Uh, mediums, kind of that uh, medium range and early you'll you'll get a lot of warnings when when the car in front of you uh, slams on their brakes um, so mediums kind of the, the good in between that I, I keep it at um, lane departure avoidance um, you can turn this off warning or assist uh, warning when you start to leave the lane it'll start beeping um, if you turn it to assist when you start to leave the lane it'll beep and it'll kind of guide you back into the lane um, so that's that's a good feature to have there and then these things at the bottom are just other features emergency lane departure blind spot automatic emergency braking obstacle aware um, I just keep all those on because those are all just good features that'll that'll uh, that'll warn you when when you encounter different things on the road so so those are some autopilot uh, features that you can adjust for the Tesla Model 3 thanks for watching